Hello, my name's Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Carts, and another video clip of a great little car. It's the uh, Citroen C0 in Lips Red. Quite an appropriate name for the colour. Um, it's covered just 5,000 miles. Bought it direct from Citroen UK on a 13 plate, registered uh, August 2013. So we have the three pin plug. Um, granny cable in here which means you just charge it in a normal domestic 13 amp socket and if I can find the end of the plug you can see exactly what I mean I'm trying to film and sort out wires there it is on there oh dear should have got it out earlier there we go it's a three pin plug it's as simple as that and that will charge it at 10 amps I'll also supply a Type 2 cable, which means you can use public street chargers that charge it at 16 amps, and it can still rapid charge. In fact, while I'm here, I'll just show you the different connections. That's the Level 2 charger, and that is the rapid. So this is where we charge it at home, and uh, the street chargers at 16 amps or 10 amps at home. And this is the level charger. The level charger, the rapid charger, which pops open the other side and that can charge this in around 17 minutes. The back seats fold flat in a 50-50 split. Rear wash wipe. It really is a great car. There are no tips, tips, rips or tears to the upholstery. It's just two people in the rear with Isofix as well, two rear seat belts and headrests. There's some uh, nice Citroen overmats in all four footwells with airbags in the sides of the front seats as well. So let me show you on the driver's side. As just said, I've left the keys in the ignition. Passenger seat unmarked. All the door cards are unmarked. Proper Nissan foot mat in the drive passenger seat and also in the driver's footwell. It just needs a good vac out, which will do. Seat is height adjustable. And again, the driver's seat is near perfect, as is the driver's door card. So to start the C0, you pop the key in the ignition. Foot's on the brake. Turn and turn till you hear a bing bong. And that's it. The car is actually running. There's the mileage there. 5,826 miles. Lots of information on the internet about how reliable these little cars are. We have a stalk here where we can scroll around different functions, trip A, trip B, intensity lights to the dashboard, distance to the next service, and remaining range. Now that will go up and down, but basically you've got a fuel gauge here saying how much charge you've got left. This will return when it's been fully charged around 65 to 70 miles range uh, more uh, if driven really really properly we have cd player bluetooth phone um, am fm radio of course all the normal heating controls including air conditioning a usb port here to plug in your mp3 player or your ipod very simple gear stick arrangement foot on the brake and pull it from p all the way down to d for drive and whatever gear you've selected will come up on the dashboard. So there's drive, there's neutral, there's reverse, and then finally there's park. So it really is simple to use and a normal handbrake um, in the normal place. So let me show you the documents. So it's from Citroen Contract Motoring. Date of registration there is the 18th of the 7th, 2013. No previous keepers, and I had it MOT'd up here on Orkney, so it's MOT'd now to the 8th of September 2017 with no advisories. So everything is exactly as it should be, and I've also taxed it as well on my insurance, so it's taxed till the end of August next year. Zero tax, of course. Uh, service book is here is not stamped but it's basically not due a service and the spare key is here as well as is all the manuals that came with the car the quick reference guide 
and the operating system, basically the owner's handbook, tell you everything about the Citroen C0. So uh, I'm going to take you outside now for a quick walk around the car because it's just started to rain. And then I'm going to take you for a, a short test drive. So I'll take you for a short test drive now. So to start the C0, foot on the brake, turn the key till you hear a bing bong, release the key, that's it, we're up and running. So with your foot on the brake, pull the lever down to D for drive, handbrake off, off the uh, foot brake and then the car will naturally roll forward, a little bit of creep that all automatics have, and then squeeze the throttle. This drives, like all the other Citroen C0s, Peugeot Ions or Mitsubishi iMeves, because this underneath the badge is a Mitsubishi, all built in Japan and proved to be very, very reliable. So, it doesn't pull to the left or the right, drives exactly as it should, stops lovely and straight, just been MOT'd. Um, what more can I say? There's no oil in this car. The only thing that really is needed on service is to check the brakes, which has just been done at the MOT. Um, yeah, they're really, really cheap to run, a joy to drive. And of course, if you've got your own wind turbine, then you can fill this for nothing. <laughs> really is that simple. Now, if you're watching this and you're not on Orkney or in Caithness or the north of Scotland, and you're thinking, oh, I wish that was down near London, Nottingham, Ireland, Malta. Yes, we've sold cars to Malta. Wherever you are, give me a ring, give me an email, pop me an email, and I will supply you one that's nearer to you. So I have good access with Citroen and all the major leasing companies to find these great little electric vehicles. So if you really like this, but you're, you're a long way south, don't despair, I can find another. So just coming up to a junction. So you come off the accelerator and like all electric vehicles the needle in the dash there it will go over to the charge zone which basically means it's in the regen feature which means it's regenerating electricity so the motor basically turns into a dynamo so now I want to reverse round I noticed how beautifully quiet this car is that down to drive again and away we go really is that simple so if you are in the southeast congestion charge exempt I'll fill in all the congestion forms for you no road tax and just great to drive I mean even if you didn't have the benefits of what less than two pence a mile running costs they're just great to drive but cost a fraction of running an internal combustion engined car so if you have any questions, give me a ring. If you're here on Orkney, contact Conrad Omand, CS Omand in Stromness, who services, I say the word loosely, services all electric vehicles. And he'll tell you, from an engineer's point of view, exactly what is required on a service. So uh, don't take my word for it. Ask Conrad in uh, Stromness. So, I'll come off the accelerator, it means I'm actually now recharging the batteries and not yet touch the brake. Still haven't touched the brake. So you can control the speed basically with your throttle. And then the last few metres, just squeeze the brake and come to a stop. So that concludes the test drive. I'll take you now for a brief walk around the car. So welcome back from the test drive. As I mentioned, it's uh, spitting with rain. There are no chips to the front of the car. There were some scuffs here, but I've had the front bumper repainted, so it is as new. All the tyres are really good. All the rims are lovely and clean. There are no chips and the discs are fine, of course, at just 5,000 miles. The wing mirror is fine. There are no dents down the side. Lots of tread on all four tyres. Um, the rear corners were scuffed very slightly. I've had, so I've had both rear bumpers painted. They were just car park scrapes, so nothing to be worried about there. Alloy wheel is perfect. Again, lots of tread. 
The side of the car is lovely and clean. There are no dinks on it at all. It really is a small little car. So we won't have this long. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact me, Jonathan, here at Eco Cars, anytime.